and welcome back to Let's Play Phoenix Wright Justice for All. My name is Kenny Minnie. And I'm Pharaoh. Last episode, Morgan is a freaking betrayer and Eni is a freaking liar. So now we're about to cross-examine her and try and get the truth and figure out the real mystery behind all this lies. A.K.A. they're both B. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yes. Thank you, Pharaoh. Okay, let's do this. All right. <laughs> So, okay, um, if you remember what she said, um, what you want to do is press on her, uh, the, the last and la second to last statements. So, where she talks about, um, <coughs> um, oh wait, nope, sorry, I told you the wrong thing. You want to press on her fourth, st fourth statement, excuse me, um, where is it? I hadn't seen her in so long. And I was happy in like a sad way. And it's kind of like, why were you sad? Why so sad? <laughs> you were happy in a sad way? Yeah, I mean, like, it was my sister. But wouldn't most people react here with surprise at seeing a dead loved one alive again? Um, but, like, maybe if I was, like, someone who didn't know about, like, the occult, but I, like, know all about the Curane channeling technique. The point here is the witness immediately recognized that it was her sister. Yeah, like, what she said. Hmm. Should I drop this line of questioning? No, question further! Question no. further! Always Damn question it. further! So you really didn't think anything strange in a whole encounter? No, like, there wasn't any reason for me to, like, think anything was strange. But... Ow! <laughs> Don't keep badgering her. You know what a phrase, objection? Could you try using that once in a while? <laughs> mm, Mr. Wright, this question of what the witness felt when she was when she saw her sister, is it really that important? Yes, it's very important, but we wouldn't be asking if it was not important. Duh. <laughs> it's very important. Although I haven't quite figured out what it is yet. But I've got to bluff for now and make it seem like I know what I'm do talking about. Don't you... Oh, God, Phoenix. Look at old Phoenix right way. Oh, gosh. All right, Mr. Wright. Miss Meany... Uh, Miney, I mean. Please amend your testimony. I knew it was going to happen once. <laughs> Like, okay, I'm like, it's totally cool with that. Of course you are, shut up. Just, just shut up. Ugh. Anyway, okay, I wasn't like scared at all and like her costume looked totally like normal. Now, from the evidence that we had and the holes that we uh, decipher through, uh, how could it look totally normal if it had freaking blood all over it? It's like, oh, hey, sis, that looks totally fine. Exactly. So that's not normal. So you want to present them up. That was a very well-spun lie, Miss Eni. Eh? Uh -huh. what, what are you babbling about this time, Mr. Phoenix Wright? It's well-constructed, but that's all it is. Stealing my lines now, are we, Phoenix? <laughs> <laughs> Miss Miney, may I remind you of what you said? You said that there was nothing strange about your sister's appearance. Uh, like, yeah, and? But I don't really think you thought that at all. Take a look at this picture. Okay. Okay. This is a picture of the sister you met. <laughs> I would think that even you would be surprised if something like this appeared before you. Uh, the blood spray. Miss Miney, why did you not include the blood you saw in your testimony? If you were really testifying and not lying, you would have noted it right off the bat! Um... Order, order! Miss... Miney, what is the meaning of this? Uh... Miss Miney? I'm thinking, don't interrupt me! Oh, uh, that. And what are you stammering about, Your Honor? Um, uh, well, I. I, um. Uh, 
that witness has person her personality did a complete 180 there. Lots of people do that when they got when they get on the stand though. Hmm. First of all, calm yourself down, witness. <clears throat> like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to like snap. <laughs> now hurry up with the testimony. If you please. Ugh, the judge still looks a little shaken up. A lot of help he's gonna be. <laughs> Sorry, I was yawning. I was laughing at the same time. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. That's our excuse. God. <laughs> All right. Like the side room was like kind of dark, you know. So like the costume is like purple, right? The blood totally blended right in. And I, like, persuaded my sister it wasn't, like, right to do something like that. And then, like, I took my sister to the channeling chamber. Oh. I don't know why. Same there. <laughs> I thought there was gonna be more. Hmm. Uh, yes. Now I see. And you've given us a clear reason for why you don't, didn't notice the blood. Uh, you think? Like, thanks, Gramps. Are you satisfied, Mr. Wright? All right, so I guess not. <laughs> Very well. You may question the witness. My lord. Phoenix is like, this is, has bull written all over it. He just looks at the judge. He's like, oh, yeah, you're okay. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you want to press on... Um, no, we don't need that. She says, and I, like, persuaded my sister it wasn't right to do something like that. Okay, how... How did you persuade her? Let's get some more information about that. And what was your sister, Miss Mimi Miney, like at that time? Well, she was, like, totally flipped out because she just shot Dr. Gray. But I think, like, she knew. Like, she, like, said she did something really bad. And, like, she said she wanted to go with me to, like, apologize to Miss Morgan. Did Mimi's spirit really say all that to you? Like, yeah. <laughs> yes, what? Okay. And then... <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I took my sister to the channeling chamber. Um, are you sure? Because Morgan didn't testify anything about that either. So, press on that, please. And, and, and nobody saw you anyway. Exactly. Was your sister calm by that time? Like, I guess so. I guess maybe, like, talk taking her revenge on Dr. Gray, like, made her feel a lot better. I'd like to feel a lot better too, Mr. Phoenix Wright. The sooner the better. She says with her whip at the ready. And, like, Miss Morgan was, like, the only one in the channeling chamber, you know? May I ask you one more th thing, Miss Miney? Like, sure. Was there anything you found strange, unusual, or just out of place? Something out of place? Huh? Like, when do you mean? Uh, when? Um, when you... How about when you were going to the crime scene? Alright, because if you guys remember, she should have seen the particular events that was happening at that moment in time. Yeah, and that face, you're like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> can't fix this. <laughs> I'm talking about when you were going to the channeling chamber, of course. Um, like, no, nothing strange. She answered rather quickly. Now what? Press harder, she hides them. Think harder. I know you can remember something. I, like, totally can't. B.S. <laughs> That's not good enough. You have to explain yourself clearly to this court. Hmm. Do you think, Mr. Wright, that whether or not there was something odd on the way to the Chetling Chamber is all that important? Yes, it is very important. We wouldn't have mentioned it if it's not important. Duh. <laughs> I... I ask because it's very important. Not that I know where I'm going with this. Oh, oh come on! How do you not? How do you not know where? Gosh. Uh, very well. 
Miss Viney, if you will, please include a statement about this in your testimony. Like, I don't get why, but okay. I, like, didn't see anyone on the way to the, like, channeling chamber. Okay, now, here is where we actually get to present some evidence. So, <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that, sorry. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of hearts rubbing off on it. I guess, okay. <laughs> So what you want to do is present the sacred urn because, like we said, Pearl was too busy fixing the urn. So that should have been an obvious thing she should have seen if she was taking her back to the channeling chamber. So present that mug! Now I'm wondering, can we also present Pearl's profile as well at um, that point? I don't know, probably. I think so. Hmm. Well, regardless. I finally found the fault, or I guess in your case, the crack in your perfect lie. Boo! That was bad. <laughs> Take a look at this urn. Like, urn? There are cracks. Do you see them? S so, like, what does that prove? Objection! Oh, shoot. Who cares about some worn-out old urn? How dare you. <laughs> like, yeah. I already, like, said I didn't see, like, anyone in the way of the channeling chamber. I didn't, like, totally say anything about, like, an urn, did I? It looks like you still don't understand. I propose that if you had really been walking along that winding way at that time, there was no way you could have not seen this person! And guess who that person is? Bam! Aw, gumshoe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Being stupid. I'd like to introduce someone to you. This is Miss Morgan Fay's daughter, Pearl Fay. Yes? And how is this child relevant? It just so happens at the time of the murder, Pearl was playing in the center garden. Oh. And she just happened to break this urn. Oh. <laughs> oh! Wait, she broke the urn? Yep, she accidentally knocked it over with her ball. <laughs> and Pearl was the one who put it back together. While sitting right in the middle of the winding way. Making a uh face. <laughs> She's crying. There's tears in under her eyes. Oh, there, there are. What? <laughs> Turning that ghost there. I know, it's scary looking. <laughs> Miss Miney? <laughs> Pearl was there in the winding way at that time. She was hard at work, putting the pieces of the urn back together, you see. If you couldn't see that while you were walking, I'd have to declare you legally blind. Well, she has her eyes closed half the time, so that I can understand. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have sufficiently proven one thing, Miss Miney. You are a masterful liar! <gasps> Mr. Wright, you need to watch what you say. What? The one who needs to watch what she says is the witness! Whoa. So, Miss Miney, tell us the truth! A about what? About what? About where you really were at the time of the murder, of course! Objection! The witness just testified about that! Uh, that's right! I was, like, sleeping in the side room! Can I really believe her? Was she really sleeping in the side room? No! I guess so. <laughs> Your lies end here! What? What do you... The witness says that during the actual murder, she was asleep in the side room. And I say that's not possible, because there's clearly a contradiction here. Ooh. Contradiction? Where's the contradiction? Oh, <laughs> I like the, the choices. It's in the evidence. Help me, Mia! <laughs> <laughs> it's Mia, help me, dear God, help me. I don't know what I'm doing. And it's actually in her testimony right now. Earlier in your testimony, Miss Miney, you made a following statement. And 
like Miss Morgan was the only one in the channeling chamber you know. It's true that at the time, both myself and Miss Hart were not there. We had gone to call the police. So? Like, what does that, like, have to do with anything? It's very simple. Miss Miney, how do you know that fact? H how I can see that Miss Faye was the only person in the channeling chamber. However, somebody who was asleep in the side room could not have known that. <sighs> Which means, Miss Miney, you did in fact go to the channeling chamber. However, you didn't go there by the way of the winding way. <sighs> But, but, look at the matter guide map! If one were to go between the side room and the chilling chamber, one would have to use the winding way! Yes, that's right, Your Honor. Which is why... Which is why I asked this very important question. Where was the witness at the time of the murder? Um, uh... Miss Miney, please answer the question. Okay. Don't ask a question off a baseless assumption, if you please. Huh? Well, I suppose since you put it off on the table, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You might as well answer the question for us. Where was the witness at the time of the murder? Now's your chance, Phoenix. Yeah! The only person who could have killed Dr. Gray was Eeny Miney. So now's the time to prove it. Uh, now then, Mr. Wright, let's hear your answer. Where was the witness when the murder took place? <laughs> I gotta stop doing that. Yes, um, you do. Um. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, uh, you want to actually... It's not a surprise, but she's actually in the channeling chamber. Take that! <gasps> Miss Miney was here, of course. What? But, but that's the chilling chamber. Isn't that the crime scene? That's right. Miss Miney was at the scene of the crime. Oh my god. Order, order, order. That's a, why. It, oh! Mr. Phoenix Wright, have you lost your mind? Yesterday's testimony established that only the victim and the defendant were in the chan chamber when the channeling started. Yes, yes, that is correct. Uh, please explain yourself, Mr. Wright. Simple. Miss Eeny Miney was hiding at the scene of the crime. I... I was hiding? Where? Like, where was I hiding? Oh... <laughs> Oh, you were hiding back here, uh, back here, uh. <laughs> her. Hera. <clears throat> well, here, of course. B behind the folding screen. Ah! Don't make me say this again. Recall yesterday's testimony. Yeah, there ain't no way anyone's hanging out behind that folding screen. Whatever. See, you stupid jerk. Quit being so quick to pin it on me, slime ball. Now, now, Miss Miney, one so young as you shouldn't be saying- Shut it, Gramps, as if you know exactly how old I am. I'm sorry. <laughs> Looks like the pipe's about to burst. I guess I should help it along. The oh. witness was hiding behind the- f Yeah, I was gonna say, that's new. <laughs> the witness is hiding behind the folding screen. With the help of this. And... Oh, where is it? Okay. It has to be the clothing box. Yeah, cause it, yeah, it was kind of just there too, so present that here. And yeah, don't forget that bullet hole eight inches off the ground. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, don't you know? <laughs> Miss Miney, how were you able to hide the scene of crime is very simple. You were hiding inside this box. Ah! Th that tiny little box, no person could fit in that. Sorry, but your theory has already been disproved. A lot of disproved you when she was hiding from me in it. <laughs> um. Objection! 
But that clothing box was in the side room, right? Which means it has nothing to do with the murder at all. Th that's right, I was sleeping there, so I should know. That clothing box was there in the side room the whole time. Hmm, uh, Mr. Wright, do you think you can prove what a clothing box was at the time of the crime? Uh, yes. Yes, I can, with some evidence. And now, I present a piece of evidence that will pr prove this clothing box was at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. And... I could do a cliffhanger right here, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> oh, God. Alright, um, you can either present the clothing box or the folding screen, but so let's present the clothing box again. Okay. <laughs> Take a look at this clothing box. You're so stupid, as if there's any sort of evidence in that old thing. Uh, this... Uh, what on earth? <laughs> I don't have time for you to sit there surprised. Hurry up and say it already! There's a hole! About eight inches off the ground! Hmm. A hole about eight inches off the ground. Where have we heard that before? Hmm. The, the folding screen. It had a hole at the same height. That's right. I hope this has opened your eyes to what happened. At the time of the shooting, the clothing box was sitting behind the folding screen, which is why the bullet from the pistol hit both the box and the folding screen. It went through the screen and into the box. <laughs> Miss Miney, you were hiding behind the folding screen waiting for your chance. Yes. For your chance to kill Dr. Gray! Ah! Order! Order! So what are you saying? Th then Mr. Phoenix Wright, what about this picture? Are you saying that the person in this photo is Miss Eenie Miney? That's exactly what I'm saying! Miss Eenie Miney! You were hiding inside this clothing box all along! And you were you wore a medium's costume to masquerade as Maya Fey. To, to masquerade as Maya Fey, she had a plan from the very beginning. She would kill Doctor Doctor Gray and pin the blame on my client. No, no, stop! I can't stand to listen to any more of this foolishness. If that's the case, Mister Phoenix Wright, then I have a proposition. This whole idea that the witness moved the clothing box to the crime scene, pretended to be the defendant, killed the victim, and then fled the scene of the crime? It's not possible for one person to do that by herself. <sighs> oh, correct, it is not possible. Oh ho ho, I think we know where we're going with this. Yep. It really is impossible. For one person to do all the preparations, that is. Ow! <laughs> Need I remind you, the foolish receive no mercy. Wait! Miss Von Karma, you said it was not possible for one person, correct? Well, you can't be serious. <sighs> Miss Miney, you had an accomplice. And that accomplice is... Dun, dun, dun! Gumshoe! <laughs> I mean, hey. Gah, this person! If it wasn't someone from the Korean village, you couldn't have gotten the costume. And if it wasn't someone from the Fey household, you wouldn't have had that box to use. Morgan Fey? Isn't that the wonderful lady witness we had earlier? Hell no, she's not wonderful. Okay! What do you have to say to... What do you have to say to this, Miss Miney? <laughs> you shot Dr. Gray with your own two hands! Do you deny it? Uh-oh. No! I think this is what really happened. 
The murderer had planted herself at the scene of the crime long beforehand. Dressed in the medium's costume and wearing a wig, she pretended to be the defendant. And then, the channeling started. The murderer crept silently towards the other two, both of whom had their eyes closed. First, she drugged Maya Faye with a strong sleeping agent. Then, she stabbed Dr. Gray with a knife. Next, she hid my client inside a clothing box. She did that so she could take care she can take Maya's place and frame her for the crime. But that's where something unexpected happened. Unexpected? Yes. Dr. Gray wasn't was actually not yet dead. With the last of his strength, he fired a shot at his attacker. And that is why the hole in the folding screen was so low to the ground. The murderer that took the gun from Dr. Gray and... After that, you and the other lady thought to break into the room. Yes, a gunshot is certainly something you wouldn't expect to hear. Which is why, upon hearing the shots, we forced our way into the channeling chamber. Miss Miney, she immediately covered her own costume with blood and pretended to be Maya Fey. But that sort of deception would have been easy to see through. Which is precisely why Miss Morgan Fey chased us out. Yes, she told us to leave the area and go get the police. What is one supposed to say? This is the real truth behind this murder. O-M-G. Holy crap! <laughs> Who is that? Laughing at a time like this. Oh, oh you simple-minded fools. I'm sorry, are you still by chance evolving? What is it this time? Miss Von Karman, surely? Of course it was me. Do you really think someone of Von Karma blood would lose due to something this petty? What in the world?! Mr. Phoenix Wright, your argument is flawed in one very crucial area. And that is... If this witness is the real murderer, why would she go through all this trouble? Huh? Working together with a medium, pretending to be one, putting on this whole act? What reason would she have to do such foolish things? Uh -huh. Well, that's... Um... <laughs> yeah, that's right. Like, that's exactly what I was gonna say. Oh, and one other thing. Why would Miss Eeny Miney want to kill Dr. Gray? Where is her motive? Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to say too. Yeah, a motive. I don't have a motive. Uh, a motive? That's... Well, I can't say she has no motive here. I have to think of a motive now. Where's her reason for wanting Dr. Gray dead? The reason you wanted Dr. Gray dead is this. And remember that newspaper clipping we got about... Uh, oh, no, not that one. The first one. Or, or no, Mimi. Wait, which one talks about the accident? That, that's what I'm trying to figure right now. Uh, I think it's the second one, right? Two, yeah, articles with the car accident. Oh, 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 here we go. Okay, yes, you want to present this one uh, because of the accident. And Mimi blames Dr. Gray for this. Ha! Just as I thought. You bore me with your silly answers, Phoenix, right? Which is great. Not even she's called me by my full name. You think I did this to get revenge for my sister's death? Yes! Because through that accident, you suffered a lot of hurt and pain yourself. Don't be stupid. No one has proof that Dr. Gray drugged my sister, right? And you want to say I wanted to take revenge based on nothing? Uh, what do you mean by that? Senile, stupid gramps. 
I'm like going to explain, so like please listen, okay? It's been over half a year since I was discharged from the hospital. If like I wanted revenge, then I wouldn't have like waited this long. Um, and sides, the guy that thought oh, that thought of the spirit thing was like Dr. Gray. It was like totally a coincidence he asked me about it, you know? She oh she's back to her, her old hair air held She's back to her airhead self. <laughs> However, you see, ouch! Pathetic, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You failed to support your own theory. Did we just lose? The end. Sure seems like it. I think we have our answer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. What Miss Miney has stated is very true. The revenge plan is overly complicated, and she has no motive in the first place. Furthermore, there is no reason for Miss Morgan Fay to cooperate with this plan. You don't even have any truly decisive piece of evidence to demonstrate your point. Uh... So many faults, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You should really learn your place. Look at her! What happened? I don't know! <laughs> I thought I had her for sure. <laughs> See, like that's what I like told you. Huh? I'm going to serve you a slice of humble pie. Mmm, pie. No, not this pie, Phoenix Pharaoh. <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix Pharaoh. Phoenix Pharaoh. Very well. I can now conclude this cross examination of Miss Edie Miney. No. <laughs> oh. Huh. 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 Your Honor, please allow the defense one more minute. All right. You can't <laughs> lose it. <laughs> you can't lose here. Have faith in yourself, Phoenix. Mia. Yes, it does sound like a ridiculously messed up plan for a murder. But, you know, regardless, that girl trained for this crime. Really? Listen, Phoenix. Everything happens for a reason. There is a reason for why she had to kill Dr. Gray. And it's also the reason she had no choice but to kill him in this fashion. Uh, time is up, Mr. Wright. Your final answer, please. If you want to say that you can prove Miss Miney had a motive, then... Why did she kill the victim in this way? Can you provide the reason? Can I... Can I really do this? Yes, we can! Oh! I'm, I am not totally confident here, but I know that I must press on no matter what. That's right, Phoenix. Only you can do this now. And prevent forest fires. Only you. <laughs> I will show and substantiate the fact that Miss Miney had a motive. <laughs> too bad. You're too late. My cross-examination has already ended, after all. Yeah! Interesting. I'll let you have your chance, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Wh what? You're supposed to be on my side! Ah! A Von Karma only cares about the perfect win. As long as you have the will to fight, I'll knock you down, Mr. Phoenix Wright. And I don't care if you are my witness. So help me, I will blow you out of my way. No, no way! Very well. The court will take a five-minute recess. We'll continue the cross-examination after we reconvene. Hey, wait a second, there- Yes! Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my back. Alright, guys. Woo. That's a long episode, so you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> you're acting like they're actually appreciative of what- <laughs> <laughs> this long episode. I hope um, they are. I I'm sure they are. Yay! All right, you better be. Oh God. What? Anyway, thank you guys so very much for watching, and I hope you're enjoying this as much as we are. And if no one's told you that they love you today, I do. Yay! Anything to say, Pharaoh, before we head out? Nope. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. Bye.